What's up everybody, this is Forgo, and before we get into the topic of this video, I want to give you guys an update on my progression in the Epic Quest. I am now pursuing this thing, especially since I went ahead and got Moonstone, so now I'm 45% of the way through the Dark Rain. I'm doing it the old-fashioned way, the grinding method, I'm not using any crystals. I am getting crystals back because, you know, because of going through the Epic Quest, but I'm not using any purchases or any crystals to further my progression at all. I'm pretty much stuck right here on Clear Legacy of Blood eight times, which I can't do. I already had to do it for some previous requirements. So this is pretty much where I'm at. Uh, getting there slowly but surely. Now for the topic at hand, and that is Sharon Rogers. I saw that a lot of you seem to be having problems with Sharon Rogers against Null. You're having problems with uh, your skill getting canceled, getting interrupted, and it can happen very easily against uh, Sharon. But I'm going to show you a run where I'm going to do a complete solo with Sharon. That means no support whatsoever. That means nothing. No supports. I'm going to use her leadership. Uh, nothing else. And she can do it. It's just going to be stage one, but it's null. We all know how hard he is. And honestly, the rewards just aren't no, really no better after stage one. So to me, there's really no point in pushing it. Although I might end up pushing it anyways, but she can absolutely do this. Now, on my account, I do have 83% energy attack. I do have a lot of attack, but there's no CTP reforged crap here. There's no crafted cards on this account. Nothing like that. And this girl can easily and i mean easily solo this in fact i only had to do this run twice and the second time i was able to get it so she is absolutely amazing in fact in my opinion the second best character in the game for null number one is moonstone so my sharon is built very well she does have 41,500 energy attack she does have 126 attack speed 42 crit rate that's going to get bumped up from her fist skill she has max critical damage max ignore defense and max skill cooldown you know, she does have Mythic Urus on her, but she has no Odin's Blessings whatsoever. The rest of her Urus are 5 star, so it's not a fully optimized build. That could make her stronger, but honestly, you really don't need to. Unless you just want to make her more of a monster than what she already is, which I can totally understand. As far as her skills, they're all at 6. I've done lots of Sharon Roger videos. Uh, she has a stage 12 overdrive set, and this is really the best isolate set for her. And as far as her... You know, the fist skill does have a heal, but this heal really isn't that good for Sharon. Uh, one thing against Null is at the beginning of the fight, and this is really where you got to worry about this, uh, all the simmits will gather together, gather together and wrap around you, and they'll snare you, and they'll do lots of damage to you. Now, you can absorb a bit of that damage, you know, but it's also going to depend on your raid level. But if you have high enough raid level, you'll be able to absorb some of that damage, but she just won't heal fast enough with these heals throughout the fight. So you really want to bring a healing striker in for her. You'll find that your life's going to be a lot easier with a healing striker. And I'll show you guys how to play using this damage accumulation, how to accumulate and use this to its full advantage against Null. So you can do the most damage. We do have a CTP of energy with a 200% damage rock. And honestly, Sharon doesn't need a CTP of energy. Although most of us that have Sharon, this is what we have on her because she's absolutely insane. And yes, a rage is better blah blah we all know the rage is better pretty much for most characters but really for sharon the energy is more than enough because she just does one giant attack from her damn tier three and just does insane damage and the beautiful thing people a lot of people always forget about this with sharon her tier three she gets this she has this 100 percent increase of charge rate to accumulate true damage effect for 10 seconds what that means is as long as you get this third skill See, normally when you hit the third skill, you have to take damage to do more damage, right? Well, when you hit this third skill and then you hit your tier three, you get the maximum amount of accumulated damage automatically. That is one of the reasons why her tier three is so freaking nuts. It is just nuts. And that's a big reason why she has 225% accumulated damage right at the touch of a button. As long as you hit that third skill before you hit that tier three, she will get it. And then if you can get the fifth skill in, which is really easy with this uniform, you'll get this crit rate buff by 35%, which is really going to bump up her critical hits. She's going to have more, she's going to do more critical hits more often, therefore doing more damage. And then her uniform is at mythic. If you look at uniform options, we got dodge. This is going to help her survivability. We, this energy attack, normal uniform, HP, normal. 
energy defense, whatever. And then I do have a mythic uniform for Spider-Man to increase this attack. Now, I did kind of goof up when I did this run. I actually, uh, I already did against Null, but I kind of goofed up because I had Doctor Strange and Star-Lord on the team. And it's not a big deal for against Null because my other teams can easily do Null. I mean, these teams can easily do Null. No problem. So I do this run, but it's, it's pretty simple with this team, actually. But because I did that, I can't use him as a striker for my other wild boss when I clear with Moonstone, which kind of sucks. But really don't need him, but it was kind of a bummer. But you see, I used her for her leadership already. And then, well, let's go on to a team where I can move on. And then I use Anti-Venom and then just damage dealt to super villain strikers. So let's jump into the action and let's rock and roll. Now, when you're playing with Sharon, it's very important to time when you use your third skills. You need to be patient when you're playing with this character. Now, watch what I do. Run around, run around, just wait. Now, I want Null to smack his sword down, then I hit that third skill. Null, whenever he gets ready to smack his swords down, hit the third skill right before he smacks that sword down. That way, you can accumulate damage, and then you hit your five and your four. It won't set off the proc. Now, look what I'm doing. I hit my third skill before that attack hit me. I could accumulate damage, and then I could do a bunch of damage afterwards. Okay, now I'm going to wait, wait. Now, here we're going we're gonna to take some damage. You know, the symbiotes are wrapping around us. No big deal. We got some heals out there. Now I'm going to wait, we're going to wait, we're going to let's see, he's going to smack his sword down, we hit the third skill, we don't take any damage, now we're going to hit our five and then our tier three, now watch. And so far you guys noticed that one of my skills have been interrupted, not one, so far. Then I just go ahead and pour on, after I do my tier three, I just go ahead and do the, two, the one, two, the five and the four, because my accumulation is already wrapped up, we got wrapped up in the, the symbiotes again, now we're going to wait, we're going to let Null smack his sword down, hit the third skill. When he raises that sword up, right before he smacks it down, hit your third skill. This is really probably the most important part of using Sharon against Null. There you see I did it again. I'm going to run over because it's going to prevent you from taking damage. And it's going to keep your skills from getting interrupted. Now notice I'm not using my tier 3. I'm saving it. I want to save it for the next round because once you get to 32 bars, a little bit below 32 bars, he's going to go into his next phase. And that's what we want. We want to go into the next phase. We don't want to use a tier 3 because she does so much damage with that damn thing. We don't want to waste it. So we're going to run up here again. Now, some accounts you might have to. I mean, mine's pretty OP, so I can get away with doing it this way. Here we go. When we did, we was able to absorb some damage from the symbiote. Now watch. Now, here in this part of the phase, it's good to have her tier 3 ready. So what I'm going to do is we're going to wait for Noel to get on the ground here. He's going to go into an iron frame. Don't use your tier 3 yet. Wait, wait, wait. Wait till he jumps at you and lands. Now, we did take some damage, but now we're going to hit our tier 3. Now, watch. Now, a lot of times, he will move away sometimes from this, and maybe he won't be able to deal much damage, kind of like what just happened right there. No big deal. Okay, we're going to run around. He's going to smack his sword down. He's going to bring out these little purple circles running around after me. And Sharon, her movement speed could be better, but it's fast enough that you can't avoid taking any damage. You just make a big circle. And there you just try to hit your third skill before Noel starts using his sword. And boom. So here you want to wait. And we're going to stand right there. We got really lucky. And notice, guys, I have not switched my character. I'm not switching. I'm not anything. We're going to keep her in throughout the entire fight. No support, no switching, nothing. That's how freaking OP Sharon is. And you can always hit Null after he, like, after he does his little attacks. Then you can always hit him because he'll stay stationary. He'll swipe his sword a couple times, hit your third skill, and then go into your other skills. And remember to always go behind him. Like when he hits near the 11th bar, go behind him. So that way he shoots his purple beam there with the dragon uh, behind you. And by the way, if you do get, if you think you're going to get caught in that, you can't switch your character. And get away from it still that way as well. Here we go. Now we need to watch out. He brings out those five circles. I think it's five. Okay, now we get up here, get up here, get up here. And we almost bit it. We almost bit it. He's going to jump down. We're going to hit him again. There we go. And boom. Now if your character wasn't doing that much damage, then you'd have to switch your character because you had the purple. Now look, I this is very important when you have Sharon. Have her tier three ready. And don't use it during this first phase. Don't use it. Wait. 
wait now you could probably hit it right now but i find that uh it doesn't work that well if you wait till after thor comes in there we go we get our automatic accumulation because we hit our third skill now we're hitting our tier three and boom look at this not quite go through our one two five four we're gonna do it again here and boom complete solo from sharon no switching no nothing that's how freaking op sharon is and the beautiful thing about sharon is she is completely free to play and everybody's gonna have her you see that i had a 102 ban from doing this damn thing and i got 24 ccf and he wasn't even the world boss of the day you know you're pretty well getting about 500 bam a day doing this five times a day so i hope this will help uh, some of you out out there because i saw a lot of comments where people were having problem using sharon rogers and in all honesty it's not that difficult at all you just have to remember to time when to use her third skill you have to make sure that right when noel gets ready to smack his sword down in the first phase Hit your third skill right before he smacks his sword down. And then if he, he'll shoot you back, he'll smash you back, just run up, hit your fifth skill, and then your fourth skill. He won't set off the proc. He won't. At least he never has for me. I do this all the time with her, and I've never had a problem. So, again, I hope this helps some of you out out there. Uh, let me know if it did, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, y'all. Take care and have a good one.